how are you doing? We're going to be speaking about how to know if he or she really loves you. People ask me that all the time. Hey, how do I know this guy loves me? People think about it all the time. This guy that is hanging around me or this lady that, that, that I'm talking to, how do I know she loves me? I'm going to be breaking it down in this seminar, how to know if he or she really loves you. If a guy like, really likes you, one of the things you'll notice is that he's very proud of you. Very proud of introducing you to the people that matter. I understand he might not post your picture everywhere in the world. I understand he might not make public announcement on Todd Milan Bridge or on Billboard. I understand that. Because some people can form that they are private. However, you can't be so private that nobody in this world knows. That one is scam My sister. That one is what? Scam. Because some girls, they see, they see scope, some girls that scope to today. That you see, I mean, <laughs> you know, I have haters. <laughs> You know, 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 <laughs> we, are, we, are, we are big, <laughs> we are public people, we can't show ourselves like that. My brother, marriage is not a private affair. Both of you can marry on that chair. I guess what I'm saying? Don't let anybody deceive you. Marriage is a very public issue. All of us go see no last, last. Won't you have children in that marriage? Will you hide everything? Marriage is a public issue. So yes, he might not make a public newspaper announcement. However, the important people in his life must at least know. If he has haters, at least his parents are not his haters. His pastor is not part of the haters. His mentors or boss in office is not part of him. The important people at least must know. If he's hiding you from everybody, you are not the only one. That's why he can't show you anywhere. <laughs> and in these 20 something years I've been doing this job, I keep teaching girls this thing and some of them still don't get it. So I'm supposed to ask my the Pastor, there's this guy. He's a celebrity. He's a publicity. He's a... <laughs> all these many things. He can't tell anybody. I say, nobody at all knows. Say, nobody. He said we must not tell anybody. I say, he's coming you. Then two weeks after, three or one month after, she will come back and say, he has broken up. I say, of course, he has broken up. You were, the, you were dating yourself. He was never dating you. If the guy is hiding you from the important people, his parents, his pastors, his boss, his mentors, important people in his life, need to at least know you. Important people of, of integrity, not his drunkard friends. Because those ones are part of the scam. <laughs> They're going to call you our wife. <laughs> They're going to send you errand. Pepper soup today. Jalof rice tomorrow. They all know that you are not the one. Don't mind those boys, though. Those boys are not safe, though. Our wife. You're gonna, uh, they're going to look at they're gonna look at themselves. They see this fool. This is not a fool. Our wife. You're going to laugh. They say, what are, you cooking? what are you cooking for us this weekend? You two going to farm busy. This weekend, we are eating stir fried rice. Shrimp. <laughs> those boys are wicked. <laughs> you got a farm busy. Stir fried rice, shrimp, different. <laughs> you they cook for your mind. You don't see husband. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I'm talking about people of integrity and respect in his life, not his friends. Who, his friends can be part of the scam. Most times, his friends knows the other girls, and they are all trying to decide. They always have meeting. And conference to choose who and who is scoring points. They are all choosing. So the people eating your stir fried rice. If you if you see whether they talk about you for the election, <laughs> so that one thing because she's cooking for us. She think because she's cooking for us, we'll vote her. Don't marry her. No leak food, she shall be. And then they eat your food. <laughs> if he's hiding you, he's scamming you. If he's hiding you, he is what? coming you. So if he loves you, he'll be glad to introduce you to important people in his life. When I first met my wife and we started a relationship, the first thing I did was I took her to my mentors, Reverend Sam Ademir and Victor Ademir and Reverend Pastor Femi Oduwale, and I introduced her to them and said, and told her she's, she's even free to report me if I misbehave at any time. If a woman loves you, one of the things you know, used to know, is that she'll be committed to you. She'll be totally committed to you. You can tell that she's totally dedicated to you. She'll be glad to post your picture. She'll be glad to, you know, talk about you. She'll be 100. You can, you, there'll be no sense of distance. 
there will be no sense of half commitment. You will see 100% commitment. Why am I saying this? Because usually, women have the capacity to run more than one thing at the same time. Most guys don't know. Guys, let me tell you the woman's dilemma. What happens to women is this. Women have no choice but to wait until men approach them. But on, on the men's side, is different. Men are the ones that choose who they want to approach. So this is what happens. Most men go for women that they like. Women have to wait for any man that comes. So sometimes a man that they don't might not really, really like will come. And they will say, well, there's no other person here now. And this is the person that has come. Let me first hold this one first. While we are still hoping. Men, I'm giving you coding now. Let me hold this one first. While we are waiting for Denzel Washington to come. <laughs> so, they are running this program. But they are still entertaining other chats. From some other prospective guys. <laughs> And most times, see, most times that a woman cheats or double dates is largely because they are not satisfied with who they are with. Men cheat for a different reason. A man can be with a woman he loves very much and still be tempted to cheat. Women are not like that. If a woman is really in love, she has no time for another person. If she's really in love, she doesn't give another person attention. No, nothing as horrible as toasting a woman that is in love. You are wasting your energy. <laughs> What's your name? He said, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> What's your phone number? I have a boyfriend. Where do you live? I have a boyfriend. Don't disturb me. She won't give you anything. But if you say a woman that claims to be in a relationship and is entertaining you, she's not happy with the person she's with. Either she doesn't think the person is her best option or she used to love the person but the person is messing up big time and she's getting tired of that person. So most times if you say a woman cheating, clap, thank you. <laughs> you know? So most times... If you say a woman cheating, it's usually because they are not satisfied. But a man can be very satisfied with the who, who he has married, but his, his, his roaming spirit is <laughs> still making his eyes to be going up and down. Somebody gets what I'm saying. A lot of the men that cheat, they have great women at home. Great wives that can cook, that is fine, that can do everything, but their eyes stay outside. Women is not like that. When you say a woman cheating, it's either her husband is neglecting her, her husband is a big, you know, messing up big time, or she married below her level. Because time was going, she was desperate, just married somebody. And she has now found out that, why did I even marry this person? So she's running. And women have the capacity to run many programs. Men cannot. If, if a man is running more than one program, you will know. Because he, all his attention is one side. The moment he removes it from his wife to another person, everybody will know he has neglected. Because he's always focusing here. Men are like that. Because the way men operate, their attention is usually one-sided. So that's why if a man is cheating, everybody will know. If he wants to go and bath, he'll put his phone here. Go and bath. His password has password. <laughs> everybody will know he's cheating. If a man is here now, he's looking at fine girls, everybody will know the girl he's looking at. He's coping. He will look at her like. <laughs> everybody will know she's looking at the girl. If a woman is here and she's coping a man, you can't know. You can't know. <laughs> the man is here. Now here she got a look. But she scope the man. <laughs> women are smarter than you many men think they are the one that toasted the woman they don't know it's the woman that toasted them now she choose you, not be you choose them say there's this fine girl I just met, I toasted now she toast you, now she first see you because when a woman enters she has scanned the room and seen all the eligible people she has known the one that have a chance and the one that never have a chance so of you, that you are, you, are, you are scoping one girl, she has already seen you scoping her she don't keep your answer, they wait for you for pocket Say, the day you dare come and say rubbish, your nail, they wait you. Because she has seen the way you are looking at her. <laughs> she don't keep her nail, they wait you. <laughs> your answer is waiting for you, so don't go there. <laughs> then the people she wants, the people she wants, she has seen when they sit. So, no matter what she's doing, she go find way past there. Oh, I, oh, oh, I forgot my shoe. I fuck. <laughs> she didn't show you market. She didn't say, Are you blind? You know the see? Then when she's near you, 
Joke will not reach five seconds laugh. She'll go laugh and for five minutes. It's not the laughter. She's trying to show you that she can laugh. <laughs> oh my God. Then she'll start beating you for no reason. John! <laughs> John! You know that you're too slow. John! She'll go beat you. She's showing you her market. <laughs> Hallelujah. So she's the one that chose you. You're not the one that chose her. So women are slick like that because they have the capacity to run more than one thing at the same time. That's why if you see them when a good, a normal good married woman, she's raising her children, working, taking care of her husband, doing her job, cooking. She's running many things. Women naturally multitask. Men are not like that. Men are not like that. Women are incredible. With multi- if a woman is, if, if a Christian woman is even cheating, her relationship with God will still be going fine. She's loving, everybody's loved their normal way. You know, they affect them. Then go love God the same way. She will still be diligent in her church work. She go love her husband where? Love her children where? Love boyfriend one where? Love boyfriend two where? Everybody, where taking care? Nobody will complain. If a man is cheating here, everybody will complain except the person he's cheating with. You will see him, he will no longer be coming to church regularly. You will see him, he will, no, he will be slacking at work. You see him, his wife will be, tight, be saying, you are neglecting me, you don't come home. He, the only person that will be enjoying is the person he's cheating with. Because men, men can't do more than one thing well at the same time. Women, everybody's well. She will still love her Lord well. She's still leading worship. Happily. Jesus is not missing her. She's still here. <laughs> but after service, she will go and settle other people. <laughs> Women can run things. So if she loves you, <laughs> if she loves you, she will close all other offers and focus on you. And you will know it because she will give you 100% dedication. Are you here, somebody? 